This is my cheat sheet. This is an integral part of the platform that I put out to help people make better decisions on stock. I only worry or follow stocks in the semiconductor and the artificial intelligence positions. I have 34 stocks that I'm currently following. And what I do is I try to figure out what is the future price of this stock going to be based on four factors what the Wall Street uh, analysts feel the, the price is going to be in 12 months, what the price has been, the high it has been in the past, and then its fair value based on its ability to generate cash. I then take those numbers and I compare them to two things. First, their current price, and if if they hit the average of these numbers what uh, in the next 12 months, what is my return going to be? Such as you see here on Apple, it's going to be 17.6%. Then I look at it and say, based on a, if a bad event occurs and something occurs to bring that price down to its support levels, what will my return on investment be? And as you can see on Apple, it will be 21%. To give you some further understanding, if I buy Google at today's price, based on these four numbers, I will get a 26.9% gain over the next 12 months. If, on the other hand, I buy Google not at 151, which it is today, but at 130, what I think it can be in the future, I'll make 46%. That's how this part of the chart works. And I do it for my uh, uh, hardware companies, and I do it for my software companies, and then I do it for my moonshots. Now, what I've just recently added to this is something that I think is very valuable. I have taken the 37 stocks that I um, trade in or invest in, and I've broken them into categories. This is software, Palantir, Adobe, um, Palo Alto no, uh, Networks, Snowflake. This is the high tech, everything from Tesla, Apple, Microsoft, Google, IBM. This is the semiconductor world. Uh, Marvel, AMD, um, Intel, NVIDIA, Micro, a technology, it looks like I got micro in there twice. I'll correct that. This is the then the, the support to uh, the semiconductors. These are the semiconductors and their support. People like Rambus, like On Semiconductor, like AEHR. And then these are the builders. This is a Taiwan Semiconductor. This is ASMCL. Um, uh, this is Super Macro. And then these are the people who actually build the uh, um, data centers, Modine, uh, Fix, and SMCI. What I wanted to SM S Y M. What I wanted to do then was see how these stocks interrelate with each other. As you can see, uh, it, I've I've taken and highlighted in yellow where they lost money. Uh, and as you can see, in 2022, virtually everybody lost money. But what I'm really interested in is how do these stocks relate to each other when they have a bad year? And let's use one that I love, AEHR, which currently is down 53%. Uh, has a five-year average return of 168 and a 10-year average return of 85%. When they have a bad year, what happens next? Here they have a 53% down. Here they had a 47% down. What happened next? Up 41, up 26, up 855. Is that consistent? Well, here they're down that's, that should be a yellow number as well. Here they're down four uh, years in a row. Then they come back with an up 63, up 263. So what I'm trying to do is give take this number, the, the uh, number in 2024, and see how it relates to others. I know that On Semiconductor is AEHR's largest uh, customer. And as I see, they're down 53, they're down um, 9, ACLS is down 16, but they all have a very strong five-year history. So that tells me that when 
EVs and toasters and phone semiconductors go up, AEHR is going to go up substantially, as is uh, on semiconductor, as ASCL, and you can see the similarities. This, this penetrates throughout. Look at this. This is something that really struck me. Of all these 37 stocks, who has the biggest deviation over to this year's price from their five-year average. Number one is AEHR. Who is number two? Tesla. Number two is Tesla. They have a deviation of 199 cents percent. AEHR has a deviation of 200 and some. Down here, who's number three? That would be SYM. So what I'm looking for is wh where is my opportunity not so much today, but in the future. How can I take advantage of Tesla being down, of Snowflake being down uh, 20%? Let's go across and see here, uh, ASEL down 16. How can I take advantage of that? Well, I can recognize when it's, when it's happened before, what happens next. When Tesla was down 65, it went up 141. When it was down one, it went up 45. Can I draw information from this to give me an advantage? I think I can. And that's what I want to share with you. I then take these numbers and I take them up here and say, okay, if I buy AEHR at its depressed price right now and uh, uh, at, at its current price of $12.37, based on my analysis, I will make 233% in, in the future. That's pretty darn good. Here's Applied Digital. 360. Again, it's taking the information that you you put together as to what are their future earnings. And right now, the semiconductor industry that is involved in uh, EVs is down. Now is the time for me to buy. This is complicated. I spend many, many hours and it changes every day because this price changes every day because the, the information that I get off of the analysis as well as I read their press releases. So I have an idea of what's going to happen not only today and where the buy price is, but what's going to happen over the next six months. What's going to happen over the next year? As the EV market comes back, and I believe it will come back because every nation in the world knows that we have to save our atmosphere by getting stopping, stop burning carbons. And that's the biggest carbon burner is electric, is automobiles. So that's how I go about this. If this is something you want to get access to, you have an easy ticket. It is come to my website, Best of Us Investors, and go into the description we have on sale that you can get on that access to this at half price and work with it for the next 90 days, and you determine whether this is a part of your future investing. I'm Kerry Grinkmeyer, I'm a retired financial advisor, and this is what I do with my spare time. What do you do with yours?